Uh, just to help the guards out too. Uh, we were able to score inside, uh, mostly at will because we wanted to score. We wanted to, you know, play hard in the paint. And I think to ease up for the guards so they can be able to penetrate in the paint also. Because if there's a force inside, the guards will be able to penetrate. Whatever. So we tried to, me and LaVoy tried to go offensive game active in the paint. So I think that's one of the reasons why we play for the guards inside today. Mike, I feel like this is a good testament to how far you guys have come. The guys that, that weren't starting last year and now having larger roles in this offense and, and on defense. Yeah, it's a great test. It's a great test. And, you know, we worked all this preseason to get ready for every every game, and I think it's a great test for all those guys to come off the bench and produce for us, and also play a different role as a starter like Ramon and come off the bench last year. I think it's a great test for them too. Mike, is this kind of a continuation of what we saw from you last year, wanting to be more serve on offense? His first two games, you, you see pretty comfortable shooting and taking control of the moves. Yeah, I think I think my teammates always um, it started with my teammates. They always encouraged me to shoot the balls and then get the next shot. Mike, don't worry about the last minute shot. And I've been working on a lot of offensive moves and post moves. I did a lot of working out this summer on the offense side. So with the encouragement from my teammates, that's that's helping me, helping me out today so far. Ramon, Jeff, I've seen to be a pretty good sharing the ball, even you know, a lot of assists to, to baskets. Do you feel comfortable out there in your overall assessment of you know, how the offense played as a whole? Uh, I think overall we do play good team basketball. You know, uh, a lot of you know open shots, you know, for the guards, and then the game plan was you know get the ball down inside to Mike and the board, you know, open up open shots for us. And I think we did a good job, you know, even getting it inside or you know getting open shots for the guards. Rugged. Talk about you know 26 assists to six turnovers. That's something you gotta look at and be pretty happy with. Just uh, the, the ball movement, the things you guys are doing. What does that say about where you guys are in terms of cohesion as a team? You know, I think every guy on this team is just you know selfish. You know, if we we when in private. There's a lot of things you know we work on. You know, making that extra pass. You know, giving up a little shot. And I think if, if if we do that for the rest of the year, we'll be good. Well, can you talk a little bit about the depth of this team? I think nine players play double digit <coughs> minutes. How much of a benefit is that to the squad? Uh, I think it's real good um, having TJ, you know, out there, you know, at least coming off the bench, helping us, you know, sometimes you know, guys you know, get, get winded, needing a little break. But, you know, if, you know guys can, we can come off the bench and be trusted to play, you know, five minutes. Well, yes. how much do you enjoy just being in the starting lineup now after all that time? Uh, I think I enjoyed it a lot. I think I was hard enough, you know, in that position. So I think I enjoyed it a lot. Can you guys talk about Scooby's role? I mean, I noticed that um, you know, he doesn't lead the team in scoring, but he's always the vocal guy out there telling you guys to get over here, line up, play dick. Talk about what Scooby Wrangle brings to the team. Um, I think coach, you know, puts that in the Scooby head, you know, you gotta be the, the vocal leader on the court, you know, in practice. He does a good job of talking and you know, calling out screens and things like that. I think he does a good job overall, you know, keeping the team, you know, talking and switching and, and defense like that. And that's just something we need. Dude, he brings a lot of energy, so I think that's what <coughs> Coach Duncan sees in him, and that's why he put him on the floor. Because Scooby has a lot of energy in him, and he brings a lot of energy for the team. And when he's when he's defending the best way out there, that gives us a lot of trust in him. They're like he's going to help side and all that, so he gets beat by, by any chance. But that energy just gives us another, you know, positive motivation. So we just use it on the court. Well, what's it like on the bench, or when you see a guy like Jake hit a three like that? Yeah. Uh, you know, it seems like he got a roar out of the crowd. And his team yeah. walk on, has some success. Feels good watching it. Man. It feels good because I saw a lot of hard work from just someone like Jake trying to make the team. And also he made the team. So seeing him doing, um, out there making shots, playing real well, felt good for us as a team. And we saw that we are team right now because everybody's on the floor. Everybody got a chance to play on the floor today. Right, how different is it going to be? You guys played two games in three days, and now you got a long layoff between games. But what happens now between now and the next time you play on the board? Um, I, I feel we can you know, get our school work together, rest our bodies, and be able to prepare for California or whatever team we're playing the next round. Uh, I think that's an advantage for us. You can get a, a, a nice long break. You can be able to you know, watch film and do a lot of work on those guys. And, you know, for the comparison when the game comes, you know, can get a double. More questions? Thanks, guys.